Now, it's sad to think that this is the last show of the series and everything's coming to an end, but there's always a plus side to every situation. Please welcome, for the very last time, I promise, Ricky Thank Gervais. <laughs> Ricky, what have you got uh, for us today? <coughs> um, ideas for Christmas gifts. Well, that Seriously, sounds quite nice. It's, uh, this is our show. Um, you're going to see a lot of stuff on telly about um, uh, unwanted pets and a puppy is for life, not just for Christmas, yeah. um, which is true. Um, but um, kids love it. But it, it can be irresponsible because they're not, you know, puppies forever and they've got a short attention span kids and it can lead to abandonment. I've got uh, loads of nieces and nephews. And what I do, um, Christmas Eve, I go down to Battersea Dog's home and I find a little sick one and I go to the vet. No, don't put it down. I'll take it off your hands, mate. Yeah, yeah. I take it home, I give it to my little niece, she plays with it, it dies that night. <laughs> Without the proper medical care, it would. Um, two birds and one stone, see? <laughs> doesn't grow up, doesn't get abandoned. I've given it a lovely gift, yeah? And I usually tell her that Father Christmas killed it because she didn't spend enough on her uncle. That's actually and that, he, and that he hates mean kids, and they usually buck their ideas up for the next year. That's very, very hard. Yeah, well, it, it's uh, harsh but true. Uh, the other big one is a dog is for life, not just for Christmas. Right behind that, I'm really into animal welfare. And that's obviously aimed at parents whose kids go, can I have a puppy, can I have a puppy? And they go, no, can I have a puppy, can I have a... Oh, and they get them a puppy to shut them up, right? And the kid likes it when it's cute, it grows up, the kid gets other interests, gets bored with the dog, they lumber the parents with it, the parents get bored with it, they abandon it. 11,000 pets were abandoned in England last year, which is terrible, and I think, you know, kids should have pets. I think it teaches them life lessons. I haven't got kids of my own, but I've got loads of nieces and nephews, and they've got kids of their own now. And I want to be a cool uncle and give them what they want, but I want to be a responsible one too and not add to the stray problem. But I think I've solved the dilemma. Here's a tip. This is what I do anyway. You've got to wait till Christmas Eve and always go to an animal rescue centre, not a breeder. And I go along to an animal rescue centre Christmas Eve and I go to the veterinary part and um, they've usually got like a run who's been born sort of disabled with no quality of life and they're just putting that out of its misery. Right? And I go, no, don't kill that one. I'll take that one. And they go, it's only going to live a day. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So, so, and I run home, I'm going, don't die yet, don't die yet. A little bit of Starbucks, a little bit of Starbucks. <laughs> And I rush in, I call my niece, she comes running, Uncle Ricky, got your puppy. Oh, Uncle Ricky, got me a puppy. Yeah, your best uncle got your puppy. Yeah, go and play with it, quick. Go and play with it. <laughs> and she takes it to bed with her Christmas Eve and she sleeps with it. She wakes up, Christmas Day, it's dead, cold, stiff, gone. So, <laughs> result, not a problem. And they always come down the next day, they go, oh, my puppy's dead, my puppy's dead. I go, oh, what, the puppy your uncle got you, he did his bit, and whatever happened after that isn't his problem. They go, yeah. And I go, oh, maybe you rolled over on it in the night. Oh, did I? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. And they, they start going, I killed my puppy, I killed my puppy. I go, no, you didn't kill your puppy. Jesus killed your puppy. <laughs> on his birthday. Because you didn't spend enough on your uncle's Christmas present. <laughs> they usually buck their ideas up the next year. 